Oh, I can finally sit down and read my book. Oh. Cleaning my gun. Cleaning my gun. Cleaning my gun. Cleaning. God's really filthy. What the? What the? Good day folks, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching. Today we'll be answering a small simple question. Will air guns penetrate your home's wall and possibly go through from room to room? Or will they even penetrate at all? And which gun will be more penetrating and which caliber will be more damaging? Well, to answer all these questions, I brought out a whole arsenal of air guns with a whole array of calibers, from tiny to huge. We'll start with two 177 caliber CO2 powered pellet guns. Um, this is the Crossman 1077 rifle. It's an amazing rifle. Although, as you can see, I have not been treating it too well. Uh, it is so humid in Florida that there is rusting all over the place. Nevertheless, this thing shoots just fine, along with the Crossman Vigilante revolver. And for both pellet guns, we'll be shooting these 177 10 and a half grain Crossman Piranha pellets. We'll then move up to 25 caliber with two PCP air rifles, the Hatson Jet 2 and the Caravan Arms Air Boss K1 rifle which I just uh, added the scope yesterday that was kindly sent to me by my friends over at CV Life. It is a six by 24. Um, we will look, have a deeper look at this um, in my future videos, really cool scope. Both of these were provided to me by one of the best air gun stores in Florida, Air Gun One, whom I really want to thank as always for supporting the channel. And we'll shoot these 25 caliber, 22.07 grain H&N Hornets from the Jet 2. And from the K1, we'll shoot these H&N Field Target Trophy, uh, 20.06 grain, 25 caliber pellets. Doubling up the size from 25 caliber, we'll move up to 50 caliber, starting with the Umarex HDR50, and we'll be shooting Kododo's uh, 50 caliber 9 millimeter sabot bullets. To then move on to the Alpha uh, 1.50 by LTL, also 50 caliber, uh, from which we'll be shooting these aluminum balls. They weigh 2.8 grams by Home Defense 24. For the 50 caliber grand finale, before moving up to the 68 cal, we'll be shooting the ultra powerful, all penetrating. 50 caliber Seneca Dragon Claw PCP rifle with these Seneca 50 caliber uh, pellets. This one, along with the K1, will actually go shoot out in the Everglades. And finally, moving up to one of the biggest calibers in the air gun world, the 68 cal, we'll be shooting the Umarex HDR 68 16 joules version. As you see, I've attached this. Uh, barrel shroud extender by Italian brand Quattro Volante purely to make it look cooler. And we'll stay with the aluminum balls. Obviously, this is the 68 caliber version, uh, given that they have proven to be the most powerful or among the most powerful projectiles to be shot by CO2 air guns. So for the occasion, I cut up a bunch of one foot, half inch, drywall squares. Now I'm obviously no carpenter, but it is my understanding that the internal walls in most homes in the United States are made of drywall. And they're placed more or less like this with two half inch drywall boards like these separated by about half foot of space. Of course, you'll have wooden rods running across here and there. But this right here should more or less represent a real case scenario where we'll be shooting across these four boards 
which should be the equivalent of two walls, more or less. Let's start off with our smallest caliber, the 177, with our Crossman Vigilante. the Crossman Vigilante 10 shots um, most of them seem to have gone through the first board a couple are stuck in the first board but again most of them seem to have gone through through to the second board where they seem to have all stopped nothing went through the second board so indeed your home's wall would have stopped the Crossman Vigilante with the piranha pellets, um, but barely. Up next, one of the coolest, at least for me, backyard plinking air rifles, uh, 177 caliber, the Crossman 1077. All right, the 1077, I swear, I did not mean to group them like this. I wanted to spread them out, actually, like I had kind of did with the Vigilante. But this gun is so accurate that it's hard not to. I mean, not that this is an accurate group, but with all the space, we went pretty accurate. Anyway, let's see the penetration power of the Crossman 1077. So obviously, they all went through the first. Look at that. They seem to all have gone through the second layer. Oh yes, they did. Wow, look at the third. The third layer caught one, two, three pellets, maybe four or five. And they kept going to the fourth. And look at that. But nothing came through the fourth, although they tried because look at that bump. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why someone would want to shoot the 1077 uh, Crossman rifle in the house, but should you do it, be careful because it will definitely go across one wall and it could easily almost go across two walls. All right, folks, we should see some serious penetration now as we're going to move up in power with this PCP Hatson Jet 2 rifle and also in caliber as we're switching to 25 caliber and we're going to be shooting these very highly penetrating HN uh, Hornet pellets.
All right, I was able to spread this one out a lot more. Okay, well, they obviously all crossed the first board, second, third. Oh, look at that. We went well into the fourth drywall board. But look, amazing. The fourth one stopped them all. A little bit of denting here, swelling, but the fourth board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine out of ten, or probably ten out of ten, were stopped by the fourth board. So again, in your house, if you shot a Hatson Jet 2 with the Hornet pellets, <laughs> you would sure create some damage. So guys, I just recently had two air gun manufacturers contacting me, asking me if I was interested in testing their guns. And yes, one of them is finally Berna. Um, so I have new guns on the way. Uh, nothing has arrived yet, but hopefully by next week, I'll have one of these guns uh, to show you guys. However, I'm really glad we got this drywall video out of the way. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So do make sure you are subscribed to the channel and that you did like this, click that like button on this video, which helps the algorithm uh, spread it out a bit more. All right, folks, staying on a 25 caliber, we're gonna move up to something a bit more powerful, the Caravan Arms K1 PCP rifle. As mentioned, we are out here in the Everglades to shoot this, as is obviously way too powerful to be shooting in a backyard. Well, all pellets have entered the first one. Ooh, seems like they've all went through the second, into the third. There's one stuck <laughs> vertically, that's funny. And into the fourth, and look at that. One, two, three, four, five pellets have came through all the way, indeed. Quite a powerful PCP rifle, the Curvin Arms K1. Moving up to 50 caliber and back to CO2, we will start with the LTL Alpha 1.50. We'll be shooting the aluminum 50 caliber balls with this one. And then we'll pass on to the Umarex HDR50 or TR50. And with this, we'll be shooting Kododo's 9mm real bullets. folks a little technical issue with the LTL Alpha 150 where uh, the trigger was really hard I, I, I kind of pressed it as hard as I could and it shot two balls at the same time and they went in the wrong uh, side so we will we'll discard these but the other five uh, went through right through the first drywall board and into the second one here we have a couple balls uh, between the first and the second. Uh, 
something came out of the second board and onto the third but nothing across and the third stopped it so if you shot an uh, alpha 150 in your own house it sure would go through one of your walls and perhaps damage your second wall <laughs> HDR50 with Kododo's 9mm Sabo bullets. Of course, the Sabo remained stuck in, and two of the Sabos remained stuck in the first board while the rest seemed to have gone through. Onto the second board, through the second, and look at that. Here are all the 9mm bullets, or at least four of them, while they went to put a nice dent into the third board but nothing came across the third board. So both 50 caliber uh, CO2 guns did a very, very similar damage where they crossed one wall or two boards and went denting the uh, third board or the second wall. All right, before we move up to the 68 caliber, we're going to conclude the 50 caliber with this beast of a PCP rifle, the Seneca Dragon Claw. This is by all means the most powerful uh, air rifle that I own and probably one of the most powerful air rifles out there. I am so confident that it's going to go through all four of our drywalls that I put two extra ones. So we have six in total. Um, by all means, this thing is going to go through all of them for sure. But let's have a look. as suspected clean holes all the way across spared nothing the dragon claw by Seneca Air Venturi do not ever shoot this at home <laughs> and finally to the largest caliber for today the 68 caliber uh, 68 caliber is one of the largest uh, uh, calibers in air gun it is the kind of like the normal uh, caliber for paintball gunning and I think the only size bigger than that is the 72 caliber which I'm by the way dying to shoot with the Zeus um, PCP rifle so hopefully that video will come sooner than later uh, but that said this is the HDR 68 16 joules with the Quattro Volante uh, barrel shroud extender again we have 68 caliber lightweight aluminum balls against our drywall wall. those holes I can almost stick a whole finger in them 
Let's see. So all five projectiles went through the first one. And I can see one, two, three balls stopped between the first and the second layer. Look at that A huge hole though we made in the second layer. But, oh, look, we did a marking on the third. So one ball, in fact, here it is, made it all the way to here. All right, folks, we are done for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful, somewhat educational. Um, now we know what most air guns do to our walls at home. Um, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for clicking that like button if you did indeed like this video, for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. I'm going to leave you with this video next. And I'll see you at the next one.